Hello and welcome to PBS XCOM Season 2, I guess this is. Um, we are, as you can see, playing the War of the Chosen and we're going to have another go at trying to beat uh, Advent and all other, anybody else who tries to uh, get in XCOM's way. So, um, slightly different setup for this playthrough, no Long War, so there is no uh, Long War mod installed. However, we do have a lot of mods installed. Um, which we'll talk about kind of as we see them come up, but um, they basically completely change the way the enemy AI behaviors, behaves. Um, and also, um, quite similar to Long War, changes the tactical kind of overlay um, of the way XCOM 2 War of the Chosen plays. But we're going to get a loads more variety, basically. Um, the thing, like, the issue I had with Long War was mostly around every single mission being infiltration ones that we had times and things we get a much more varied uh set in this mod pack so we'll get some traditional XCOM assault missions uh war of the chosen brings in covert ops as well and um we'll obviously get some of those infiltration style missions as well and we'll see how we go but yeah we are gonna fire up a new game so we're going to continue to play on veteran again a lot of the mods i have installed particularly the stuff that makes the ai more difficult um, we'll make the game more difficult anyway. So we'll stay on Veteran. That's what we played on last time and we got our ass kicked. So uh, we'll see what we can do on Veteran this time. Again, um, no Iron Man, just because of if any mods break, I might need to reload saves. Um, but we will abide by our Iron Man principles and we'll start without it. Um, again, not going to add any of the DLC in um, and we'll just play the kind of vanilla War of the Chosen. So War of the Chosen, actually, if you've never played it before, adds some really cool stuff uh, on its own, including some hero classes, which will help us out against some of the uh, chunkier enemy waves that we came across in Season 1. Accessing the feed now. So again, I'm going to skip the lore. Um, the lore is very similar. So Advent bad, XCOM good, but also Chosen bad, Lost bad. Some of the other factions we'll get across uh, very soon. <clears throat> and we'll see who's on mission one. Ooh, nice. We've got a nice little cast here. And we have, we do, we have a Templar. Excellent. Okay. In we go. Okay, so all we need to do is rescue these two VIPs. Um, nice and simple. And we're concealed, cool. So, first mod to talk about, over here on the right. So this is the quick select, quick soldier info. Basically, this means we can basically quickly select people without having to tab through or do any of that nonsense or kind of click on anyone. Um, these are um, these blue symbols right now, but after the first mission, this will populate with um, the squad's portraits so it'll be it'll look a lot nicer uh in the second mission and uh makes it nice and easy to jump between so on the mission one we have ross uh we've got ben we've got james we've got ether who is our templar we'll go through some of that stuff in a minute uh we've got me and we've got carl um the audio is actually sounding a little bit low so let's just check our master volume a little bit and return to game okay cool so um like i say we need to go and rescue these two they're quite far away yeah quite far away um but we're under no turn pressure or anything like that so we don't need to worry and we have concealment which is great so carl can move up nice uh ross i'm not because we have concealment i'm not too fast about double running really i think ross can get up here uh, we're not going to discover anything just yet. Again, Ben, I think let's tuck in here. Um, okay, we pick up our first squad. Nice. So what we want to do is kind of set up for a second turn uh, on these guys, most likely. So where are they? They're probably going to be walking either back this way or this way. Maybe. We'll see. So send James up. Uh, Ether, who's our Templar. So Templars are really cool. Um they are melee based, so they only have a pistol, as you can see, and their, their main ability is Rend, which is a melee attack. Um, and they also have this thing over here called Focus, this Focus Bar. So as we build up this Focus Bar, it allows us to perform other attacks, such as Vault, where we need at least one uh, Focus to do it. So Vault basically deals damage to one unit, but it will jump the damage to any nearby units. It's kind of huge. Um, and Templars also have an ability where once if they kill someone, they gain momentum, which means they can basically run all the way in, melee someone, and then be able to get out because the momentum gives them another movement point. So they're very, very strong, very strong, uh, which will obviously help us going forward in the playthrough. 
Let's just bring everybody up as far as I can and then bring me up too. Probably going to set up for either this turn or maybe next turn. It's still quite far away. Um, and I think Carl actually will just hunker down. I quite like his position. That's fine for now. He's on Overwatch just in case we get discovered. Okay, they are walking left to right pretty much in a straight line. There's definitely three here. We can only see one. It will definitely be a, a pod of three. Okay, so we don't have any vision on them. And again, I don't have great moves. Uh, let's tuck Ben in here. Okay, we can see two. Ben actually has the flank. This might not be terrible for shots. Certainly if we can get in grenade range, I, I can guarantee there's another one here or here. It'd be in one of these squares. But it wouldn't be nice to kind of get in and set some overwatch shots up. The only thing we don't have is fantastic cover. But let's move James up. So the other cool thing, as you can see, when we move into these squares, we now get indicators about uh, where we're moving into. Also, it will give us an indicator if uh, we do get sight of the third. That's huge. Um, also, this also helps us now in terms of it will give us um, a little indicator, a warning indicator, if we're moving through an Overwatch shot. So season one, I made quite a few mistakes of just randomly running people through Overwatch. I didn't know was up. Uh, so that will help us out a little bit. Uh, Ether needs to be close and personal. So we'll get as close as we can. Um, let's bring me up as well. I want to get everybody pretty much as far as they can go in one move. And then we can maybe plan. Carl, I probably should have double run him. Ross can't actually get as close as I would like. So maybe Ross and Ben are going to be primed for overwatch shots here in full cover. Might be good. Um, and Mr. Fernandos, I'll probably have to run you all the way up for an, a future turn. There's no full cover to go into, sadly. So I think we'll run Carl up for fall out from the next turns probably should have moved him sooner but it's fine <clears throat> okay ross and ben i think we're going to prioritize the overwatch shots so um one thing you'll also notice from long war we've got no armor we've got no flashbangs we've just got our basic xcom loadout so we're a little bit more restricted early game right james can hit so i'm kind of comfortable with it james is the furthest back um but also ether will only have a pistol overwatch so i'm probably going to throw the grenade with ether and then everybody else is going to overwatch. And we'll try and wipe this squad in one go. So, overwatch on me. Overwatch on Ross. Overwatch on Ben. Overwatch on James. Ether is going to get the triple. And we'll kick this season off. Huge damage. Now, we've now got, we've now got four overwatch shots to clear this guy up. Ross. Oh, Ross drops him in one. Huge. Nice shooting. Uh, game audio still seems a little bit quiet for me. Um, you have to let me know if it is on the recording. I think maybe sound effect volume just needs to come up just a touch. And we'll see how that goes. Um, okay. So, nice clean wipe. So, we've been revealed now. So, uh, any other pods? They're not actually as far as I thought, I don't think. I think they're on the ground floor of these buildings. Yeah, they are. So we just need to kind of push up nice and safe. We've got some good top cover up here. wouldn't mind getting someone up there. Um, but no need to kind of rush. In fact, I will move uh, this this front row in first. Ether, because of the, the movement and the aggression that they can kind of churn out, I'm, I'm really not too worried about um, them getting in any bother. Um, and Carl, take this full cover. Also, kind of nice that Ross cleaned that up because it means we don't have a, an abundance of um, uh, ammo just wasted on misses, which is quite nice. Um, again, can we get on this roof? We can. So I think we'll probably angle towards this this cell. So we'll kind of got some nice full cover here behind this truck. We've got this uh, uh, top cover here. So I'll try and swing. Let's swing Ross wide. Uh, ben, I think we'll get Ben up. We'll kind of, you know, we'll kind of cycle these guys front to back constantly. Excellent. Um, and then I think let's just overwatch. I think I'll get Ether in actually. Which is nice. Oh, uh, we did pick them up with that move with Ether. Probably shouldn't have done that. We do have an overwatch shot now, and the guys have still got a few turns left. I think we've got some action points left, so I have. Um, so they're here and here. I can't really do anything except overwatch, to be honest. So we'll overwatch on me. Um, Carl, to be honest, if I could get him on the roof, I would. But what I might do is bring him here as we've got a better flank next turn. So we'll dip Carl here to this side. 
and we'll see what these two do. Okay, he is coming up for the flank on Ether. He went for the mind control. All right, he's panicked. Now, the issue with... Okay, here's the difference. Um, in War of the Chosen... Oh, I killed him. Nice. I, I, by the way, you will have noticed I gave myself a jacket. I was I was a bit um, cold, so I just gave myself a jacket. Um, you notice there, so when Ether was panicked in um, the first playthrough, when they panic, they basically just hunker down and stay still. When they panic in War of the Chosen, they do things. Now, that could mean running away, which is here, which is fine. So running out of a flank, which is probably the best we can hope for. They can actually shoot back. Sometimes they'll just shoot, which is, again, quite nice. Um, or they can do stupid things like fire grenades, rockets, all sorts of dumb shit. So um, I'll look forward to that happening. I think Carl actually has a... Why does Carl not have a flank here? Can somebody explain this to me, video game? What I could do is actually drop Carl here. Um, that's probably a nice place to go. Um, and then we have a 74% and let's just get some damage on him. Crit as well, four damage, nice. He's out in the open, so we should have enough people to... So I know that this, for some reason, doesn't create a shot. And Ross can't get up in two. Again, we could go for another flank shot with Ross here. I think we'll do. We'll just tuck in here, and then we take a, another flank shot. Nice. Two flank shots. Get rid of the sectoid. Nice move. So panic remove because the enemy died. So that's huge. Um, so again, we're going to push this building. So again, I don't really want to make the same mistake twice. So Ben... Just going to tuck in. Uh, what can he shoot? Okay, he can shoot that electrical generator to blow it up. Uh, and this did drop loot, actually. I might get Ether to grab that. Let's overwatch Ben uh, in case we kind of cock up in a similar vein. James, again, it's a long way to run, but I do want to get this mission done and dusted. So Ether can actually just move here and grab the loot, which is kind of useful. Illyrium core and a scope. Nice. Um, okay, Ether, we can actually shove one more. Because it's a melee class, you've got no choice really but to be very aggressive with it. Um, and again, I think with me, I'm going to run. Just make sure we get the right click in here too. And we'll just wait for the enemies to, uh, to move again. Okay, cool. So two pods dealt with. There's definitely going to be a third and we need to get the prisoners. So um, potentially could be back here, could be in the building or could be out here on our left somewhere. So I think we're going to we're going to focus on pushing this for now. Um, and we've got quite a lot of people on this flank. Ross is furthest back. So um, let's see where he can get. So he can actually get here in one turn, which is okay. Um, I'll probably go a bit further though. Maybe... No more full cover, but I think we can tuck in here pretty safely without uh, discovering anything, which is good. Uh, ben. Let's move Ben in here just for now. We're going to probably end up double moving everyone this turn. I would have thought uh, James can get right in, which is pretty nice. I just want to see if I discover anything with James really on this left side. No, we don't. Okay. Uh, Ether. Actually, just going to double run to this corner. And we'll have a look. Nice. Okay, so we're pretty safe now to move up to this area here. Uh, so let's get let's get people rolling, and we'll get in the building. Uh, Carl, Fervis Carl can get his full cover here. Again, we'll always prioritise the full cover. Um, also got a mod actually, which improves the way cover works. So we had a lot of instances in the last season where people were getting one shot behind full cover while the enemy was disorientated. So that kind of crap should go away. Um, and we've also got um, realistic wounds on. So we also had some times where people would take less damage than another person wounded on a mission, but would be out for longer. So we've now got basically realistic wounding. So if you only get one HP off you, you're probably going to be back in a, in, you know, a, a much shorter period of time uh, than someone you know, who's either completely taken out or loses the majority of their health. So let's get James to this corner. We're ready to push in. Okay, still no sign of this other pod. Um, so we can't get in through these windows. So we might have to go to this door. Which James can do. Okay, didn't discover it. There's also a door around here. So Ether 
can have a look around this corner. Again, if we discover anything back here, we can just run back. Here we go. Yeah, we discovered. Ooh, interesting. They're out really wide. Okay. So either we're going to have to pull back. Um, unless... We could just, like, we could dip in here. It's not that bad. Um, what we need is the rest of the boys to get in range, um, if possible. So we've got probably myself, Carl, and Ross that we'll have to deal with. We've moved James a bit far. That's okay, though. Have we got full cover for me? We've got full cover here, which would be kind of useful. And I could probably grenade from here, uh, which would be nice. Uh, Ross, half cover, not a fan. Uh, or full cover from here, but probably it's uh, a tricky shot from there. Um, and Ben, again, is going to struggle. So what we might need to do with Ben is get him with James for now. And those two can play together, and we'll try and deal with this with these four. Because uh, we can probably get in the building um, and at least get maybe the door unlocked even. So James can actually get all the way in. So let's do that. James now is in and can get the prisoner on the next turn. Uh, I might move Ben in as well, actually. Ben can get in. He can. Ben can get in here, which is okay, I think. So these guys can also, um, next turn as well as move in, they can also flank through this way, which is good. So Etho we know is flanked, but we're not going to stress about that yet. I think the best position for me, probably here, actually, rather than here. Because if this guy comes across, which he could do, he's going to have a, a really good shot on me. I'd rather have the cover here. So I think I'll push. Oh, I can definitely reach with grenades, so that's fine. I just want to see how close can we get Carl. Carl could get here. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of it, if I'm honest. Let me see. Let's see what my grenade can do. Because I might be able to remove cover as well. So yeah, let's, let's drop this on this guy. Okay, that's a kill. That's good. Um... I'm, I'm with ether. Can I get in range for a, a rend? No, I can't. I can. Sh I can pistol or I can pistol over. I think because uh, of the space. I think we're just gonna have to drop ether in here in full cover, um, and then probably look to set up some Overwatch shots. This guy's got height, which is concerning. Um, or we go out on a bit of a mad one. We know the other guy is just on this corner, uh, so probably Ross first, given that he's just slightly further back. This is okay, I think, but full cover on one side. Only an 8% chance, so I think Ross is going to overwatch for sure. And I'd like to get Carl into a similar position, probably here, the opposite side of me. Um, and then I'm going to, unless he's got a good shot, we're going to overwatch as well. And we'll see if these guys move. They may just shoot. Okay, he's marked Ross. But we get the overwatch. Carl misses, okay. Ross also gets the shot. Also misses, okay, that's not good. Okay, not a disaster though. Right, Ben is going to move here and we're going to open the door. Uh, we're going to get the prisoners out. Oh, it's this cell, my bad. Um, okay, Ben's not going to do that. Uh, James is going to do that. So, let's hack the doors, get the prisoners out. Okay, so we have a 32% to gain control of a random enemy for two turns. No unfair effect or disorientate. I mean, these are, neither of these are great, to be honest. I mean, it's just not particularly helpful for our uh, current predicament. Door is unlocked. And the, uh, the VIPs are free. Nice. Okay, so how are we going to deal with this? So Ether, they're both on Overwatch. So I need to break the Overwatch. I'm wondering if Carl, Carl has a grenade. We can break one Overwatch for sure. Um, I might just do this with Carl. Just to potentially get rid of one unit. Mm, nice, three damage. So we've got one Overwatch. Uh, these are our... Um, so we've got this scroll bar now. So these are our two... What I'm going to get these two to do is just hunker down, basically. Just stay still for now. You're safe. Just stay still. So again, we've got Ross on a flank, but we will take an Overwatch shot. Um, ben can't really... I'm just going to put him into cover for now. Can't really do anything. Ether. Okay. 
Can we get in range for a rend? We absolutely can. But we're going to take an overwatch. And it's 4 to 5 damage. We need a little bit more just to be... This is 100% hit rate, so it will hit. But unless it crits, it won't kill. So he'll be stood here. Uh, she'll be stood here with uh, dicks in hands. Um, right, so Ross. I mean, we've, we've, we haven't taken any damage, really. I wouldn't be mind getting Ross here. So as you can see here, this is now showing us that we're going to move through Overwatch, which is what I was talking about uh, at the start of the mission. I'm wondering if I, if I have a shot, though. Do I actually have a... I don't have any vision. I would if I went here. I'd probably have a flank shot. Let's do it with me. Okay, we managed to scoot there. 39 isn't terrible. It's classed him as high cover because I think he's on a very slight elevation. Potentially, it doesn't look like it, though. Interesting. Oh, he's, sorry, high cover as in he's in full cover. Um, I'm going to take this because I've got no grenades. There's nothing else I can do. So let's see if we can get some damage on him. None. Okay. It's probably we haven't broken the overwatch i didn't manage to break it unfortunately so i'm probably gonna need ross to break it now uh ross can try here we go nice ross he skips over i think we can get the grenade on him and then we'll go with the rend um to finish this up three damage perfect that leaves us in that that removes the overwatch so we get a chance to have a look at the rend now um, as we get Ether to move in. Nice. As you can see there, um, Ether got plus one focus. Um, and we can talk about how we use that in obviously some future missions, but a pretty straightforward start. Operation Gatecrasher always is. Um, so flawless, nobody even wounded, which is a really good start. Let's see what every what classes everyone gets. I think. So we've also got some mods uh, around classes. So there's some really interesting new classes that are completely different from um, the last series. Some of them are the same-ish, um, but um, others are okay. Uh, um, kind of brand new. Uh, and they've all got new different tech trees and stuff as well, which is also really nice. So let's see who's who. So, let's promote me, I guess. Ah, oh, we have to do... Okay, so this is... Okay, we can promote... Ether. I think... I, so, I'll show you in a second. I've got a mod installed, which um, changes the way promotion works. Okay, so we have Ether with a promotion, which is actually quite nice. Okay, rend. Cool. So, how it works with these hero classes the templars who are basically another faction out there is that you need ap ability points to basically upgrade their tree so as you can see here this one here face off costs 25 ap so we can't actually do this one all of these cost 10 so we can do one of these you gain ap by being in missions as a soldier there's also um certain missions will reward ap and all that kind of stuff so we need to choose here so as you know, we have Rend, which is the melee attack. We have Vault, which is the charge attack. And we have Focus, which is their ability to basically uh, kind of build up stacks of Focus to empower other abilities. So we can take Parry. So after attacking with Rend, prevent all damage from the next attack instead of moving. So you have to stay still, but you, you block all incoming damage. Aftershock, uh, target struck by Vault will be easier to hit, increasing your squad's aim by 15 that's quite big. If you've got a really good aftershock on a cluster of enemies and it hits multiples, that's going to really help other follow-up shots. Or amplify. Mark a single target with a psionic lens, causing them to take an additional 33% damage uh, from a number of future single target attacks cost one focus. So we need focus to use amplify. It's worth bearing in mind. So it's either going to be parry or aftershock. I kind of like parry because if we're going to throw Laura in, it'd be really nice to be able to just block all incoming damage. But I mean, the thing is with Rend, you've always got the option to run away. So how useful this will be I don't know, maybe we go Aftershock on that basis. We try and get some chain damage. And then that's going to increase our aim by 15. Let's take Aftershock. So, Laura is promoted. So as you can see, normal promotion, I'd just be clicking on these and we'd be able to promote. And you'll see why in a second. Um, so from the mission, we get an Illyrium Core, Basic Scope, and a Laser Sight. Nice, actually. Um, and some corpses. Um, 
The VIPs you rescued uh, in this mod pack, also quite cool. These will be our first engineer and our first scientist. So here we go, we get an engineer and we get a scientist. So guarantees you basically to get a normal start. Sometimes RNG um, kind of doesn't help with the early game uh, engineers and scientists. So again, we're going to have some tutorials because this is playing through the mod pack uh, for the first time, but I will go through, I won't read these to you. We'll go through these as we come across the features. Um, so we need to do our promotions. So let's do that. One thing we'll also see some new stuff here is um, in this uh, menu. So we can actually see more stats now. We can see what their dodge ability will be like. We can see lots of other things. So as we upgrade these guys, we have a promotion available on Ross. So let's promote. And hey, here you go. We can actually choose Ross's class. This is really cool. So you get three options. You don't get all the options, but what it means is that we can kind of stick to the law of the Discord member, but we can also make sure we get certain classes. Because uh, again, with RNG, you could end up with either too many of one or not enough of another. So Ross can either be a tech specialist, so using high tech abilities to disrupt the enemies and support. So it's more of a support class. Uh, but can also can use sniper rifles it's really interesting some of these classes actually have access to multiple weapons now rather than just one uh, the sapper long range explosive support um can use assault rifles shotguns grenade launcher or rocket launcher so ross was a grenadier last time so that might fit the law or a marine so these guys are the um these guys go basically flying through the map um mobile infantry highly mobile so i think with ross we're gonna go sapper we'll stick to the law of the last playthrough um and we'll promote Ross. So he gets um, explosive ordnance. So explosive increases with experience. He gets his grenade launcher, as you can see this on his back. And also this is cool, he gets a defensive mine. So these are really cool. So basically we can drop these on the floor if we think an enemy is gonna push us from a certain direction. Um, and obviously if they run through the AOE of the mine, they'll take damage. Um, these don't break concealment and they also don't use up an ability point. So you can place these and then still move and shoot. So really cool. Um, for Ross is our first soldier, the sapper. Nice. Um, ben. Ben could be a marine, a sapper, or a marksman. I think I think with Ben we might go marine, you know, and uh, get him up close and personal. Because um, we've just done a sapper. Marksman, I'm kind of saving this, so I'm not going to lie, saving this for Matt. Um, so let's make Ben a marine. Ben promoted to the Marine. So Ben gets fire discipline. So the Marine's proficiency with reactive fire improves. So that's really good. So uh, overwatch shots. Uh, sustained fire, taking a direct shot will not end the turn. But any remaining action points will be converted to a special type that only allow overwatching, suppressing or reloading. So that's kind of cool. Uh, down this trooper. So in the squaddy rank, they get all three. In these, we'll have to spend points to unlock as we would any other, any other kind of uh, tech tree. And machine gunner, we get suppressive fire too. Um, which is nice. So Ben is our Marine. Um, let's get the next up. So James. So James can be Tech Specialist. So I think we have to take James. I think Tech Specialist again fits, fits the law, to be honest. It's perfect. So we've got Marine Sapper. Uh, let's take Tech Specialist. So this is, again, the kind of uh, a support class. So we have protocol packages. So the Gremlin experience expands over time. So we can hack things, which is, again, a quite a traditional um, specialist kind of thing fail safe activate to negate negative consequences of any failed hacks and gain a 15 hacking bonus for the tech so that's that's nice fail safe and aid protocol again we're used to using that to basically give people some extra defense uh, in the first level nice james right me marksman tech specialist field medic okay quick and versatile support unit i think i'm going to take field medic on me i'll go around healing everyone uh, and looking after them um so the field medic we get medical specialist so more medical proficiency over time we get sedate so this means i can actually incapacitate enemies if we need to capture any of them which is part of some missions we will get so we'll need to do that uh, battlefield triage um reviving an ally will reduce wound times for heavily injured soldiers so if i be, if i'm the one who heals them um it will basically reduce their wound times and stuff quite a nice quite a nice pickup uh, all these as well as you can see all all grayed out, so we'll have to discover these as we uh, as we rank up. So I'm a field medic, um, and let's see what Kyle's going to be. So assault infantry, sapper or marksman. Now I haven't got a marksman yet. I don't think I've got an assault. Oh no, we made Ben assault infantry, didn't we? I can't remember. I might take Kyle as the marksman then, to be honest. Stealthy and precise. That sounds like Kyle. 
So we get um, precision targeting, um, hollow targeting, so we can mark enemies and get more um, uh, bonus aim against them. Phantom, so when the squad is revealed, Carl will remain concealed, that's huge. And this is a new ability for us, Brace. So basically, if we set up a stable firing brace, this will give us um, basically plus eight tile range of vision as well as allowing access to effects from many sniping abilities. So basically, this is putting down the bipod basically on the sniper rifle and setting up. So you need to do this the turn before you shoot so that you, your brace is active for when you shoot. So this is really interesting and we'll have to make sure we get our snipers um, in good positions before we fire basically. Uh, and also it kind of means we're not going to be moving them two rounds to around too much if we move them after a brace obviously we lose it then we'd have to set it up again so carl is our resident sniper um so we get some more ability um some more information here so one of the things you'll notice is the rookies obviously all start at 65 in terms of aim uh, we also have will so their will is um basically uh, <laughs> changes and basically means of how how frequently they can do missions how much whether they'll resist mind controls all that kind of stuff and we've got a mod called not created equal so instead of everybody who's a marksman getting 75 aim or everyone who's a marine getting 68 aim it basically it will kind of randomize a little bit so we'll need to pay attention to aim and will for everybody to make sure that they're okay and also as you can see here we've got their dodge abilities in here um, how much they can dodge and all that kind of stuff. So all these will be zeroed until they basically until we level up all of our rookies. But it means again it's a little bit more. We need to think about different roles and stuff. So Carl takes his 75 aim, which is nice. The Marines tech specialist is all good. So a bit more information in this screen for us now. But we've got our first batch ranked up. Huge. Um, okay. Now we're gonna have to get some lore out of the way. Apologies for this. Uh, so research, um, we're going to take, we've got quite a lot of weapon attachments actually from mission one. We're going to take modular weapons, which is good. We'll hand down to engineering. We'll clear this lore um, and build items. So I would love a med kit instantly and I would love a flashbang as well. So we're going to spend a few supplies, just getting a couple of the basics in. Obviously we need to uh, do some research before we can get the other stuff up and running. And I also want to get our engineer um, building. So I'll skip this because we won't. We don't need to worry too much about the resistance ring changes um, because this mod changes the way the resistance ring works. But I'd like to build. Um, I would like to build. So the resistance ring. It says here it allows the assignment of resistance orders on a monthly basis. Now, because of this mod pack, there's some of the stuff we can do from the start without having the resistance ring. It's still recommended we build it first, and I will still build it first because you can see uh, the benefits we get. But then we really want Guerrilla Tactics School, and we want an infirmary as well, but we need to do the research first. So let's get the resistance ring cooking, and we'll put our engineer on that. So six days for that to come through, uh, which is nice. And let's head to the bridge. And again, we'll skip the law. Okay, so this is basically saying what I said about that this mod pack basically gives us some covert infiltration missions, some covert ops, and some traditional um, assault missions. So we get a much more variety, much more variety of mission types now, rather than all of them being infiltration or all of them being assault. So it's quite nice, and you'll see how that plays out. Um, we've got something to investigate here, which the reward is rookies. Okay, that's interesting. One of the reasons why we didn't do so well in our last playthrough is that we stuck kind of resolutely to the PBS team. Um, I'm going to be less um, kind of against using a blend of kind of random rookies and PBS. Now, PBS should always lead the squad, but if we need to use some rookies to bulk, kind of bulk up the numbers, then we will do so. But we're also going to get, obviously, the three hero classes this time around. I've got another little surprise from a mod pack as well um, that will get something else involved. So we should have enough soldiers, but rookies, not terrible. Um, but for now, we'll chill. So... We have discovered the Templars first, as we have one in our team, and we have some things that we can do for them. So, Covert Ops are part of War of the Chosen, but they're really cool. So, let's have a look. So, these are missions that we do outside of fighting. So, we will not be fighting in these. Now, you can be ambushed. There is risks for ambushes that we may have to take control of the mission if it goes bad. So, one we have for the Templars is to uncover the Black Market, and what we'll get here... We have to send resources. So this is saying we have to send two soldiers on this. So, and they'll be gone for 15 days. So we need to be mindful about how many people we send on covert ops. Because if we need to do things like big real missions and they're all off on covert stuff, we just won't have the manpower. 
So, but as you can see here, the soldier that goes here will get plus three hacking. So you do get buffs and they also get XP and they will level up doing this as well. So you, you, you still get XP for doing the covert missions. Um, we've got recover alien corpses. So this is actually only six days. This is making this quite good, I think. However, there's a minor risk of ambush, a minor risk that we're captured and a moderate risk of being wounded. So it's a little bit more dicey. Um, we have to send a soldier. We can send an optional soldier to negate the risk of being captured, which is interesting. And the soldier we place here would get plus five dodge. So again, something we want to think about. Uh, improving combat intelligence is a good one. Seven days. Soldier will get plus five will. Um, and we can negate the risk of being wounded by sending a scientist. I don't really want to do that, to be honest. Or we can pick this one, which is recover an experimental item. Again, risk of ambush and capture uh, here. So... We also could just go and um, locate the new factions and get new hero classes, which is good. Um, some of these will require a sergeant, though, and we don't have one. I think we're going to go for this. This is only eight days. We'll get plus three aim on someone, and there's, there's a moderate risk of being wounded, but it is what it is. Right, so go to loadout. So we don't have to do all the covert actions, by the way. There is no, no reason to do both, uh, to do all of them. We just pick the ones we want to do. So this soldier here that we slot in here will get plus three aim. So what we want to do is probably send Carl and we'll give him that 78 aim and we'll just make him a beast. Um, so we're going to send Carl for sure. And we'll probably just send a rookie with him. So we'll send him out with... We could just send him with Jay, can we? And Jay and Carl can go on. So they're only going to be gone... So you can see here, the they're actually going to be gone nine days because we've sent two people, basically. If we didn't send Jay, it drops down to eight days. But because we've sent Carl, we can also remove equipment from them to lower this, but it, it's not really a big deal. There's a moderate risk of being wounded, but is what it is. I'd rather send Jay for safety. So Jay and Carl are going to go and discover this enemy faction. So we'll send them off on this covert. So they're off. I will probably then also do, for now, the combat intelligence and get the plus five will again it's only seven days so it's not long that they're going to be out so who we're going to get to have the will so we can they have to be uh squaddies to send so they have to send at least one of these so who's got we either buff somebody's will really high james's could go to 60 or we could maybe get someone whose will is quite low and pump it up a bit i'd rather to be honest i'd rather go with the guys who are like super strong and just buff them so they're insanely strong um and oh, we have to send the scientist i don't want to send the scientist i'm going to send james on his own and we'll just take the risk if he comes back wounded he comes back wounded but we're going to send james on this one and he'll be gone for six days and hopefully get that plus five will james is very strong willed as we know so let's send him on that one so we're not going to do any more coverts for now again i've sent three troops out so we're going to wait because we're going to get some missions um and i think what we'll probably do is we will go in so if we scan here um, uh, if we scan at our HQ, uh, our team heal faster. So it's always a good option now to return to base and scan to get people healed faster. We also build things faster when you're here too. But I think because we've got nothing else to scan, we'll go up and scan these uh, rookies. And we'll basically get through to our first proper mission to end the episode. Okay, we have a new covert action. So. What you can also get is covert action chains. So where we have to do multiple things in a row to get the scientist at the end. So this might mean a covert option and a mission or some other stuff. But um, it's interesting and we'll see how this goes. So this is, it expires in two days. So we need to make a decision. This actually looks okay. A moderate risk of wounding, which is okay. Um, mobility plus one is, is really good. And, and um, we can negate it by sending supplies. I don't really want to send any supplies, if I'm honest. Um, but this is a, a chain of two missions. So I think we're going to send some people, for sure. So we get a mobility plus one. So this is the thing. You don't want to send too many on coverts. We've got quite a big roster at the moment. But once people start getting injured and tired and stuff, it's going to be more difficult. So who are we going to get for the mobility? So these guys have all got 12 mobility. Everyone has. Okay. So anybody can kind of go. I think... I'd want to... Depends on the class we're going to give people. Chris, he was quite a run-and-gun style. Um, I'm not actually going to send another... We don't have to send a second soldier here. Uh, I don't think. 
or maybe we do we do need to send a second we'll just send abigail the random rookie who's um just we're not really going to use and i'm not sending 25 supplies they can just go they'll be fine another cover underway and we'll continue scanning here modular weapons done let's assign some new research so we can now use the um alien biotech or i think we go alien biotech next so we can now use the mods that we picked up uh, from the last mission Alien Biotech done. And now we will take... Okay, Infirmary is available. That's what we want to build next. So that's huge. Um, we need to do the uh, the uh, autopsy here. So let's get that on the way. Okay, so we've actually got our first covert op endings in, a, in the next few days. Okay, the resistance ring is built. So let's go and have a little look. So, each month factions can be assigned orders which can provide bonuses to XCOM. So this is where we actually get cards that we can play here. So, if we look at resistance orders, new resistance order received. Gain an additional two power on the Avenger, not the best, or tithe. Res resource rewards on all missions are increased by 15%. That's actually quite big. So, what we can do, as we gain um, reputation and influence with the Templars, the uh, and the other two factions i think one of them is called marauders and something or other um over here we can basically lock in cards so what we can choose to do power on the avenger we don't need it right now but what we do need 15 percent increase on mission rewards is is huge now as we uh increase our influence with the templars we'll be able to lock in cards with them and then the other factions that we are as yet unmet we can also buy additional slots by upgrading two so pretty op to give us some kind of buffs in the background for all of our future missions yeah so here we go so we can actually upgrade for 100 supplies which would give us an additional slot basically for resigning uh, assigning orders so we don't have the supplies and it's not something we want to do early game anyway um actually i want to then if my engineer's finished i'd like to get him removing some alien debris start excavating with miu five days to get rid of that which is nice and we'll keep scanning here so our first missions are about to come in cool so ah uh, james was wounded okay so james was wounded which was one of the risks but he gained his xp and he got his increased will to five which is nice um now again i want to look at something quickly because it said james was tired this is another new mechanic so if we go here um we view the soldiers so you'll see so james is actually wounded rather than tired but if somebody comes back and they're not wounded um they'll have tired in yellow next to them and again you can still take them on missions but it's not a great idea so we'll have to keep an eye on that so james is only out for eight days not terrible we can live with that let's keep scanning we should have our first mission okay Chris and Abigail had a great time. Both got promotions, which is huge, so we can get them promoted. Um, good increase in cohesion, so we can have a look at soldier bonds too in a minute. Uh, we gained XP and Chris got mobility plus one, which is nice. Soldier promoted, soldier promoted. Cool. So let's go and do those promotions, I think. Let's see what class we want to make Chris and Abigail. Again, we're not going to be using Abigail for a while on an actual mission. Um, so Chris, though promote him so tech specialist marksman assault infantry i think we want chris assault infantry i just feel like that's the right thing to do um so chris will be assault infantry which is nice and we've we haven't done an assault infantry actually okay so it gets cqb dominance so this basically means he gets bonuses to enemies in close quarters so this is you'll see how this develops through this tree if we unlock through here. it's quite this stormtrooper tree can get quite insane um, also gets run and gun, which we're used to using uh, on our mobile units anyway, and slash. So it's kind of a combination of the Shinobi um, and uh, the other class from XCOM 2 here. So we've got some really nice abilities on Chris. Um, and then Abigail. Um, 
we can make her a marksman, a specialist, or an assault infantry. I think we'll make her a tech specialist, uh, just in the absence of any better options. Um, so, protocol packages, hack, failsafe, and a protocol. So, same class as James, basically. That's all good. Well, I'd like to get to my first mission, please, um, so that we can end this episode and get a squad ready to roll. Okay, Advent Autopsy is done. That's good. So we can now build the proving grounds and we now have experimental weapons opened up, which is cool. So this is something else that can happen in War of the Chosen. We can get inspired research, which massively reduces the amount of time it takes to do things. So this is now five days. It could be, this could be up to 10 days. Um, however, it obviously does lead us away from better armor and other stuff. Now I think I'll take it because the bolt caster, frost bombs, are strong and it's only five days so we'll we'll go with that i'm gonna get some more rookies too in a couple of days nice we found the skirmishers carl was wounded okay but we found them that's the main thing so here we go we get a skirmisher now to be part of our team another hero class uh, they have a grappling hook really really good again kind of an up close class rather than a range class uh, with the um as you can see, that quite aggressive uh, Wolverine style thing. But it means we can now do covert operations for them. We also get a card for them we could put in. All mission timers are increased by two hours. Not, that's not too bad. All knowledge gained by the Chosen is reduced by 33%. That's actually huge. Um, so Jay gets a promotion too. Okay, so we now have two HQs we can work from across the map. Um, obviously, where's our Avenger? We're up here. So what I'm going to do... So we've now got more covert ops for them. Exhaustive training. So we get a guaranteed promotion. Okay. Gain ability points. This is not bad. 14 ability points to upgrade. That's pretty good. Um, there's a minor risk of wounding here. Only minor. And we can negate it with intel. But I'm not going to do that. And then we've got some break. We can get breakthrough research. So I think I'm going to send on this one. So we'll get the mobility... We want to give this really to probably Chris because we've just got him up to 13. We may as well kind of keep pushing really with him, make him just ultra mobile. Um, he's got very high um, compatibility with John actually. So let's send Chris again and give him the mobility. And then we'll send someone else because again, we might get um, a rank up. We need to do Jay's promotion too. Um, let's, send, let's send Matt, see if we can get Matt as a marksman. They're only gone for 10 days. We'll send these two out and they can have a super fun time. And again, that's all we're going to do for now. Oh, we might have a timer on this one. We do. Expires in a day. So this is an infiltration mission. Okay, so we're going to take this because we need to go on a mission. So minor is the, the minor risk that the squad does not start with concealment and detection ranges are increased by 33%. So we need to be a bit more careful. They know we're coming but we should be okay. But we get as a second scientist, which is pretty massive. So let's go to loadout and let's see what we've got. So we've got, the only problem is the time. So sit reps are another thing from War of the Chosen that get added. So Intel's just a large number of Advent troops are present under Advent only leadership. Undercover civilians present in this combat zone can be contacted to gain rewards. Now, I think this is going to fuck us here because we've got zero days to do this. Um, there's a lot going to be a lot of enemies. There. Let's just see. If we take Laura, if we were to also take uh, Harbinger, who's the skirmisher, take the two hero classes. And we were to also take... I wouldn't mind taking a rookie, take Mark. And then we could take somebody who's actually we could take me as a field medic to look after everyone swap this out for a med kit um now optional we can add in a, to make it easier we can add another soldier now if we do that you'll see this now means our maximum infiltration is 200 percent, not 250 percent. so the more we infiltrate the more we reduce some of these risks um i am a little bit concerned about this but I think we're going to do it. It says difficulty easy. I think we should be careful. We'll take we'll take Ross's explosive backup. Now, do I want to take 
both hero classes? Probably not. So actually, we could take another rookie. Let's take Steven. So these guys can go out and have a good time, and we'll see where we go from here. Um, I think we should be okay. We've got lots of grenades. We've got we've got a, um, a Templar, and we'll infiltrate. So let's go with these guys. Confirm infiltration. So they're going to start infiltrating. Um, seven days to do so. Okay. Right. Can I get these rookies, please? Thank you. Right. We got three rookies. Nice. Ooh. Interesting. They look scary. Um, okay. Scary is good, I guess. So we can actually get some supplies as well from here. So these guys are inf infiltrating into this mission right now. We've got three, we've got lots of covert stuff going on. Um, it's all go. Um, let's actually grab these supplies. We're running a little bit low, 67, not the best. Alien debris is cleared, so we can now start building our infirmary. Uh, we, need a, we need some supplies, so we need to pick those supplies up. So I'm not actually gonna build right now. I would really like to excavate this as well get the more supplies and then i would like to build infirmary here basically when i did my test play through this my first mission popped literally in day two so this is kind of crazy i right, have another new covert action which is a engineer based one so this one here is get plus four hacking hmm. there's a moderate risk of wounding So we're doing this mission here. We have this at gain ability points too. 14 ability points is pretty good. Oh, these guys are on this. Oh, these are in progress. Right, these are in progress. That's good. So these guys are on this. How long do we have to decide? Expires in two days. I would like the other engineer. It would be good. We could at least get part one done, I think. So hacking plus four so tech specialist uh, James is still wounded for three days I'd like to send him to get the additional hacking so we can wait I think we have five days on this right yeah we do so James is up in three days so let's wait three days we completed our research. okay we've done experimental research that buys us the time hopefully for James to be fit and well frost bomb shadow keeper hunter's axe bowl caster Nice. Um, now, I'm not going to take this breakthrough because we need hybrid materials. We need the armor. Um, so that's good. And we need to do Jay's promotion. What class can we give to Jay? Marine? I think Marine for Jay. Yep. So Jay takes the Marine. And clearing this, clearing this, clearing this. Is James, he's still wounded, isn't he? Is he still wounded for another day? Lightly, 20, 24 hours. Okay, 24 hours. And then we could get James on that covert op. So we stop it there. So we should now be able to... Oh, I bloody went. I knew it was, I was going to miss it by like a couple of hours. It's not a big deal. Um, you know, we don't have to do them all. Um, so this plus three will. I don't want. I don't like the chance of ambush. Not a fan of that. Up close and personal. Uncover the black. We could send James to uncover the black market. We still get the hacking. Um, we need to send two. We could just send a rookie with him though. Um, this would be good. So we can get some hacking on James uh, to increase his tech specialist, and we'll just send one of the newbies. Uh, we'll send. I mean, how can we resist not sending Yamada? Um, so we'll send James and Yamada off to do this. Covert op. Okay, so this mission is now ready. Um, we are 100%. Now, same as the other infiltration missions, um, we can basically continue to go up to a 200% max. Now, the longer we wait, obviously other missions could pop and we might be restricted with squad. So we, I think I am going to over infiltrate this because of the show of force. There's going to be more advent on the ground uh, than normal. So we're actually going to over infiltrate this 
alien debris cleared nice so i can probably now build the infirmary yeah so let's cook him i'm gonna probably go to 150 percent maybe hybrid materials done as well we are cracking through the research now which is good and uh, let's do the autopsy Okay, we're at 125. What's changed? So we now get opportune moment, which is 15% detection radius and plus five crit. Not bad. I reckon we'll go for 150% on this mission and then we'll start. So we're just going to go a little bit more. Research is done. Battle scanner is really good. And we'll do the sectoid opsy now. We're doing a lot of busy work on the road, not much fighting, so apologies for that, but we'll get there. Right, we're at 150%. So, we're going to go on this mission, um, and we are going to fight. So, we also managed to pick up from Sitrep's comms jamming. The first advent reinforcements will be delayed. That's That should help us. If we get in fast and we kill some stuff, we should be good. So, we're going to draw this episode to a close, and then we are going to start of episode two. We are going to launch this mission and see... See how the boys get on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.